we just took the thumbnail for the air suspension video. Of course, it doesn't look that dramatic. We helped a little bit. Basically brought it into off-road height, then I brought it into extended mode, then I put jacks underneath, and then I deflated all corners. Yeah, you're right in front of the tire. Here you go. The beauty of a Discovery Street. See, now the suspension is in extended mode. There is this little hump underneath the car. So he mounted his wooden block, which he tends to forget and leave on. <laughs> okay. I have to go a little bit back. Now comes the worst part. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> Shit. Ah, incredible. <laughs> that was pretty weird. <laughs> because it's in extended mode. Get into your rough mode. If I start driving now, it will lower down by like yeah. two or three centimeters by an inch. This is the mode where you get over obstacles when you're stuck. Yeah. Ah, I'm 10,000 kilometers since the last oil change. That's really bad, Christian. He has to go into the corner and look down on his feet like the Toyota guys have to do. We have to change idler pulley wheels and stuff like that. That's rattling. Ah, uh, you see, he only does that on camera, not in real time, because I get questions. We'll be working over the pit on our Mercedes, not on the two post high lift. The frame which Robin welded for our pit is back and it's sink coated, so it's never ever gonna rust again. So he bought a Ridex pulley wheel. <laughs> Again, it was yeah. the only one on stock. Hopefully I don't break anything, otherwise this car is stranded. Oh no, then I have two broken cars. <laughs> and I have to take the mall crawler. Christian's not gonna like that. So we got a SKF pulley wheel. You know, SKF. You think it's a good brand? It's a German brand. It's a German brand. It's, it's <laughs> the most German brand there is. They already make Panzer bearings. And then you take it out and look at the pulley wheel and it feels and looks kind of, hmm. And there's definitely no SKF printed on the bearing. And you wonder if you got ripped off and then... Then you read the packaging and it actually says here contains quality product manufactured or purchased by SKF. So they purchased this wheel. I don't want a wheel purchased by SKF. I want a pulley wheel manufactured by SKF. They completely lost all my trust. Absolutely. That's going to be the stupidest thing I ever read on a box. Okay? Yeah. That's the cheapest bearing they found in entire China. And then they called, can you make it any cheaper? And then they stick it into their stupid plastic piece and write on the box, purchased by SKF. Purchased by SKF. SKF my ass. I'm done with SKF. <laughs> I changed this pulley wheel here. And the other pulley wheels I can't change. I have to take the engine out. Or drop it down, whatever. It's a stupid Mercedes with a lot of room in the engine compartment. Yes. So the belt sits here in that little thingy down there, you know. There's no way you can change that as easily as on a Land Rover, you know. On a Land Rover Discovery 3, the belt sits right here. So a Land Rover is not all bad. Yeah. So we have to plan an engine out job on this car in the summertime. Oh good, because it's winter because now and I don't want to do that we're now. We're gonna put a new clutch in before Robin gets it. So that's it really. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, the pit is awesome when you have to work on top and on the bottom. We could actually do my oil change now here. So guess what? It's Saturday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna be dark soon. They delivered my parts for my stranded Land Rover Discovery 3. I'm not going to do anything today and not tomorrow. Let's start right now. <laughs> no. A whole package of goodies. Rear differential sealed, Brembo uh, brake pads. These are the ones which the TÜV complained about. Yeah, and more bushings, suspension arm bushings. The main piece. This is a new kind of underbody coating. Myla, what's that? 
Well, also suspension bushings. There must be eight. Oh my yeah. god. And what's that? That's a switch for the brake pads. Is it broken? It's replaced when you replace brake pads. Oh, really? And that is because Christian eyes. forgets to plug it in and then you drive and then it hangs down and then it falls off and then you have to buy a new one. For example. Excellent. We can start working tomorrow morning at 8. No, tomorrow morning we are going to Strasbourg. So that's the first snow. The mall crawler doesn't have any winter tires. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we are on our way to Strasbourg. These road conditions in the morning here in Germany are the worst, okay? The car just does not stop. It's it's basically an ice field. After that big debacle with the snow in our area, we arrived two hours later in Strasbourg. Philip is getting his BMX bike ready and he's gonna have a great day. And Christian and I are gonna explore Strasbourg. <laughs> Just did an adjustment on his handlebar. Ah, yeah, so is my fire See how that goes now. Still warming up. That was a double bar. In case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but I think I screwed up the focus. <laughs> Christian is using the DSLR just in case. <laughs> That's where we want to go, okay? So that's one of the biggest Christmas trees I have ever seen. It's quite big. Robin would admire now all the forgings here on the old buildings. See here? We're getting closer. But here we are. Ah, that thing is impressive. Yes, ornament. Look at that. I love it. You're really tiny compared to that thing. <laughs> Apparently we came from that direction, from the northeast. So the tower is 36 meters and it's an octagon. Look at that. It's unfortunately under construction. Oh my god. We have to go all the way down again. Oh, 
can buy black forest houses here. Oh my god. So we're in the cathedral now and we're supposed to be quiet now, okay? So no yelling. Because it's dark in here, the camera makes it look brighter. So that cathedral is just too big. Ah, Christians over there. For you guys in the US, I'm walking around with an alcoholic beverage in my hand in the middle of the city. How is that? <laughs> I'm using them with milk, you know, like oh. chai, like chai tea, so, and not with wine. You know, I've got enough. So Google failed us, Christian. <laughs> Google didn't know where we parked our car. It said maneuver to parked car, and that's the button I pushed. <laughs> well, that was the wrong button, definitely. It was definitely the wrong button, because it was somebody else's car. <laughs> we gotta walk at least an extra hour. <laughs> yeah. We made it. We made it back to the old train station. Yeah, we kind of were worried that we ran out of daylight. Sun's out, can you believe it? You know, I have to drive the Mercedes, and yes, I am thankful that I have the Mercedes and I don't have to walk, but it's just not my discovery. We could make a video, what do people do who own Land Rovers instead of making coffee like the Toyota people? Or we make a video today, how to inspect the discovery if you want to buy one. Because we get just so many comments and questions on, oh, should I buy this vehicle and should I buy that vehicle? And the general answer is don't, okay? <laughs> Unless if you have something like this, Yes, you can think about buying a Land Rover Discovery. Okay, the death zone of these vehicles goes from 160,000 kilometers to 200,000 kilometers. It's just another high-tech vehicle, not your Toyota, and it requires maintenance. If you get one outside of the death zone, so above 200,000 kilometers on it, you gotta make sure that the car is maintained and then it will run a lot longer. Christian is on his way to work. <laughs> he forgot his gap tool. Don't take your discovery out without a gap tool. And he insists on taking the mall crawler with summer tires. It's a pretty stupid idea in my opinion. Uh, it's negative 11 degrees. Vera is gonna go on a trip for the weekend with Philip. So I'm here in Oldenburg for a BMX contest with Philip in a BMX hall called the Backyard uh, BMX hall and it's actually quite cool. Wow, is this a crisp cold morning or what? The mall crawler has 20 inch summer tires on which are already useless in summer. I got myself some used mall crawler winter tires. I paid 460 euros and they have the TPMS sensors in there, so I hope they will work. So negative nine, that's quite cold. Wow, look how worn down my brake pads are. Gonna replace the discs and the pads here quickly, then it's done. 
This is down to like four millimeters and these have like a huge edge here. We got 27.7. So these are still good, but we're gonna replace them. So I got me some brand new Brembo's here. It's spelled wrong, but it still does it. Here on this box, Brembo is spelled correctly. I sure screwed up completely because it's no Toyota. I ordered the wrong brake pads. I have to put these here back in onto my new discs. Really sucks. Christian is finally taking the new mall crawler apart. I installed this little antenna here, see? And that is to start my fuel burning heater with a remote control. There, I got this remote control here from Webasto. Land Rover wants uh, 200 euros for it, but you can use it from a Ford Mondeo. <laughs> exactly. Then I had to install here a receiver and I had to install the aerial. That's what the antenna is called in English. Oh, okay. It was nine euros. The receiver out of Litauen, they charged me 115 instead of about 220 out of the UK. <clears throat> and it needs to be a very specific version, okay? You have to know exactly which one to use. And then I enabled it in the software. And when I push the button now, the fuel burning heater runs. And that was a little mall crawler upgrade. I don't have that and I don't need that. Okay. We don't use that tool on the inside. We just did. Oh my god. He ordered the wrong brake pads. You need the beefy ones. Oops. Already took the wheel off. Winter tires on 19 inch rims. Look what I did. I took those from our summer tires and he did not like that. So let's check the spare wheel. Looks brand new. Yeah, it's a stupid 20 inch wheel. It is? Yes. I was gone for the weekend, for the last couple of days, with Philip to a BMX contest. found out that it's no fun working on a car without me. Yeah, it was better. <laughs> and he forgot to take off the clothes wire hanger again. Oh my god. So another job done. New brake discs, new brake pads. Yeah. So now we're gonna go and get a Christmas tree. Oh, that's the plan? That is the plan. Oh, damn Christmas. Did you see my new dash cam? It got actually a front and rear camera. A mall crawler needs a dash cam because it's around other mall crawlers all the time. <laughs> That's a little bit baby. Yeah. So are you happy now? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what a mall crawler is good for. Going Christmas shopping. What do you have to say? We wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>